Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning I bid to the ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our forum. We will discuss about the impact of smartphone. First of all, let me, let me introduce myself and our panelists. My name is Mariam Idina and I act as a moderator and psychologist for today. Beside me is Ahmad Sharul Aizat bin Yen. He is a school teacher. In front of me is Dr. Atika Binti Anwar. She is a pediatric doctor from KPJ Hospital. Beside Ms. Atika is Mr. Ahmad Sharil Hanafi bin Saiful Anwar. He is a businessman. Today's smartphone has been around since the last six years when Apple introduced the smartphone in mass consumer market. In reality, smartphone has been in the market since 1993. The difference between today's smartphone and early smartphone were predominantly meant for corporate users and used as enterprise devices. It's not just the Apple company, the role of Android has been tremendous during this time period as it provided a great opportunity to all vendors to build devices using the great open source Android technology. Smartphone growth or usage 42% of mobile subscribers in US use smartphone along with 44% of mobile use in five major countries of European Union. For example, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, and UK. The impact of smartphone. Smartphone has impacted almost all work of human life. Mobile technology has drastically changed the cultural norms and behavior of individuals. However, there are two impacts of smartphone on society, which is positive impact and negative impact. Over 1.8 billion people own smartphones and use their device. Some studies estimate that an average person checks their phone 150 times a day. A data from Britain shows that almost 70% of 11 to 12 years old use a mobile phone. It is a no surprise that smartphone replaces basketball and baby dolls. Smartphone is a great gadget for making kids busy and quiet. Nowadays, smartphones are used as bribery tool to make kids behave, sit quietly in a car ride, get into a stroller, or even go into the party. Let's start with Ms. Atika. What is the impact of smartphone on children? Thank you, Ms. Irdina, for this opportunity. In my point of view, it may affect children's development of insight, empathy, ways of knowing themselves, toddlers need to be active physically. They should be actively exploring their environment and not sedentary getting almost all of stimulations from screen and not building your bodies through physical play. This is why the American Academy of Pediatrics do not recommend screen time younger than two years old. Doctors are concerned that overexposure to screen has an impact on attention span and concentration as well as appetite control. A 2014 study by Children's Digital Media Center suggests that when screen time limits face-to-face -face interaction, kids' social skills may be negatively affected and this may blind them from understanding the emotion of other people. First, children may face sleep problems. Children who sleep near a 
small screen which is smartphone average 20.6 fewer minutes of sleep every night. This may be caused by the high levels of blue light emitted by the screens which deflects melatonin, a hormone linked to circadian rhythm. May I interrupt you, Dr. Atika? In my point of view, kids develop an aptitude for technology. Therefore, I disagree with you. The development is an important skill now and more in the future. Important, it is important for the kids to explore this world at an early age. However, quality means being involved in child use of screen, watching and talking about what he is seeing or doing. Smartphones are tool for children to communicate. For example, Skyping or FaceTiming. For teenagers, forming online relationships is an important part of developing as an adolescent. Mr. Sharul, yes. what is the impact of smartphone on business? Okay, thank you Ms. Marita for giving me the opportunity to join this forum. Okay, according to recent research, many business are now allowing smartphones for business purpose. Uh, application software is being created to use smartphones for business related to the function. <coughs> if business create regulation on the use of smartphone during business hours, and limit use to work on this, then the full potential of smartphone in communication and around the workplace could be reached. This will create an environment that is convenient to communicate with other work colleagues. It can allow users to instant access information, conduct research, and communicate with, with each other so the use of smartphone can increase the productivity. Mr. Sharul, yes. Can I interrupt your uh, explanation? Can. Okay. Uh, some give that smartphone may actually be beneficial for communication in the workplace as they can connect business from various country. Uh, but uh, some employees. Not, not all side employees yes. could use the smartphone for other uses not relating to the business such as such they will use for social networking, tweeting, to watch video at YouTube, listen to music and others that will distract their work. So the capability of the smartphone uh, to process what just I said uh, about the application uh, will distract the employees and prevent them from doing their work uh, and communicating with colleagues competently. Uh, so uh, the smartphone itself will impact the people on the personnel and work. Uh, so the productivity uh, for the worker will be decreased. Mr. Shahil. Yes. As a businessman, what is your opinion about smartphone? Thank you, Ms. Moderator, uh, for giving me the opportunity to join the discussion. Uh, as a businessman, uh, we look at the business perspective. The business of smartphone has overtaken the other business, especially in the technological industry. Smartphone, uh, we can see smartphone will impact the set of PC. The major impact of smartphone is on PC market. Uh, according to the survey by Compaq, uh, almost 65% of uh, people are using their smartphone rather than using the PC. Uh, many people will buy smartphone rather than uh, PC because smartphone is easy to get it anywhere and anytime. Uh, uh, and they will use the smartphone uh, to read 
uh, the news about their country uh, and online online news in the internet. They will be easy to access the internet better than if we if they use the PC. Doctor Dika, as a doctor, do you know that health is an important thing? Um, in your opinion, what is the impact of smartphone on health? In my point of view, the impact smartphone on health is the convenience that smartphone brings in daily life is tremendous. Users with a click or simple touch of finger can access the health and related services anytime and anywhere but along with the convenience it also poses to several dangers as well. According to the article, on average the targeted users used to check their phones 34 times a day but not necessarily that it was needed to check email instead it is habitually checking which may result in relying on the phone more than doing things themselves the convenience offered by these modern devices is indeed great, but on the other side, also there are major issues, which is disconnect kids from the true essence of social interactions. For example, games and other entertainment applications designed for the kids may discourage them from interacting with other kids and people around them. Second, excessive exposure of these devices in early age can cause poor eyesight for kids. Third, the use of smartphones exposes to children to the habit of jumping from one option to another that trains them together small portions of information instead of concentrating and getting complete information. This habit is harmful for development of brain. Online and video games are addicting and kids may easily get addicted and spend hours playing games this may be awful when they have smartphones with them everywhere they go. Dr. Dika, may I state my opinion on impacts of smartphone on health? Of course. Okay. In my opinion, from an expert uh, opinion, according to surveys, more than 10 million users in USA use smartphones to search for health information and facilities. Next, mobile applications to fac can facilitate the users to manage prescriptions. Um, they can also promote alternative treatment, provide price comparison, and validate prescriptions. Furthermore, it enables doctor and parents to monitor a patient or child <coughs> blood glucose levels at any point during the day. They can check their track exercise, diet and also blood pressure. Did you know that more than 40,000 mobile health apps are available and more than 500 health projects are underway worldwide? For example, Run Keeper. It can access health records and participate in wellness programs. You can check radiology, neurology, and pediatrics. A survey was conducted in U.S. healthcare students. 72% use smartphones to write notes and memos. 50% 
use it for drug references. 28% use it for access clinical decision support tool. 13% to view medical image. Uh, excuse me, can I... Excuse me, can I interrupt? Yes, Mr. Shahul. Okay, I want to give a view, my view about smartphone impact on education. Okay, based on the event, uh, impact of the evolution of smartphone in education technology and its application in technical and professional studies, this article, authored by Manoj Kumar, 2011, he said, nowadays, the use of mobile phone for internet purpose uh, has become a routine and the number of mobile consumer accessing the internet is surpassing fixed line internet users. Okay, for example, distance learning enables students to utilize their time such that they can continue their education without affecting their work and family life. The smartphone have the capability to always connected, it make it much easier for the students to avail this type of education facility and make the smartphone a perfect fit device for this type of learning. <coughs> From another author, Karapish, on why use mobile device in education, it says that with smartphone or without it makes it easier for student and teacher to collaborate. Student on sick leave or with health issues or miss school for other reasons could attend the class through their smartphone and keep up with their work rather than falling behind due to unanticipated situations. Excuse me, may I make another interaction? Can. Okay, do you agree with me that smartphone has a bad effect to the student and our education system? Uh, uh, wait, let me explain about this. Uh, as we know, smartphone is smart because it uh, comes with fantastic facilities. But uh, student will misuse the use of smartphone. Uh, for example, uh, smart, uh, the student will be able to send message, cooperate on social network such as Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. They also can check emails, play online games, and even watch uh, the video in YouTube application. Uh, this is one of source of distraction. Uh, this distraction not only distract for the student, but it can also become distracting for other students around them and even sometimes the whole class. In addition, uh, uh, this, 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 this distraction uh, will make the student uh, loss of focus in class and they will more waste of time. Uh, furthermore, uh, the, the other bad impact of smartphone to education is uh, students will use the smartphone to cheating in exam. Uh, it will be easier to the student who sit for the exam in the crowded hall where there are more students uh, sit for the exam uh, to cheat, uh, they will the, they will cheat by uh, using the smartphone to find the answer in the internet, uh, text messages with their friend uh, to exchange the answer. Uh, even uh, using the computer in the smartphone is also called cheating. Uh, besides that, 
uh, the using of smartphone is encouraging for bullying and teasing. This is because it's come equi equipped with the smartphone is come equipped with the camera and video technology, which can be used to record and photograph the uh, situation of bullying and housing in the school, and then they will viral it into the social media to internet. So, do you agree with me that uh, smartphone has a bad impact to the student? Thank you Mr. Shahril and Mr. Sharul for giving your opinion on this method. Excuse me, can I give negative psychological impact regarding impact of smartphones on society? Please do, Dr. Atika. Addiction to smartphone is a serious problem. According to a recent research, the addiction to smartphone is increasing rapidly. The Ministry of Public Administration and Security of Korea reported that around 8.4% of smartphone users in Korea are addicted to smartphone and around 10.1% of Korean overuse social networking sites including Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. Smartphone addiction is not just a buzzword, but researchers have recognized habitual and compulsive communicating as a serious psychic problem. It is also established that obsession with our smartphone is also responsible for significantly altering our brain's perception for the device. Some other studies in UK also discovered another aspect to it showing that anxiety and withdrawal symptoms in smartphone users increase when they do not receive any message or updates. Another psychological impact, users check their mobile phones almost all the time. While at work, time with family, or even when, or even when with friends, look up. A mobile security company conducted a study on smartphone users in USA and found that 58% of smartphone users check their phones at least once in an hour, and another 54%. Of respondents said that they check their phone even while going to bed to sleep. What do you think about this, Miss Yelvina? I disagree with you, Dr. Atika. I would like to give the positive impact of smartphone on psychological. It could reduce our stress in busy work life. We can interact with our friends and family. It promotes your social life during travel. They can stay up to date with latest news. We can find development in politics and social circles. It can reduce work stress. Furthermore, it can increase brain function instead of using it just for entertainment. For example, we can read news headline. It make the user a better communicator. Video games have positive impact too in the smartphones. It is strengthening our empathetic tendencies. It keeps our social bonds active and allows to reduce stress. It also promises social support. Mr. Shahrir, what is the impact of smartphone on social? Thank you, Ms. Moderator, for your question. It is a good question. Uh, in my point of view, uh, 
smartphone has a major impact on social life. First, about addiction. Addiction to smartphone is one of the major impact on our social life. Surveys show that smartphone addiction is interfering with our night sleep. According to the survey, 33% of mobile workers admitted that they check their phone for email and text message throughout the night. And nearly 50% of those surveys said they will not even think of going to bed without their smartphone under tap tap under their pillow. This addition to smartphone is impacting the social and family life and creating creating friction in our life. Furthermore, as we know that smartphones has the application that enable us to edit and edit video and image. Uh, this application will allow individuals to manipulate the actual contents and provide the vision of the contents. This show that the most of the time uh, there will be issue with the authenticity, authenticity of the information received through these channels and it's required for the research to ensure its validity and authenticity. According to either another research, the organization expects their employees to respond to emails immediately even after the working hours. Due to that, employee will compel, compel to respond to official emails. Many smartphone users engage in continuous monitoring of their work's related, related emails, which creates compulsive routines of chronic checking and in the long run, it is responsible for increased stress. Uh, Besides, uh, the another major issue in the society is cyberbullying. Uh, the advance of smartphones and nature of being connected to the internet anytime and anywhere is adding to this issue and making it, it much simpler. It enables our society to access irrelevant contents was at uh, any place such as for student at school or worker at their workplace. It will enable a uh, working community to access uh, social websites and other irrelevant contents while at work and enables a uh, young generation to access the internet for inappropriate contents. This highlights minimum control from parents and administration to prevent the user access certain contents on the internet. May I interrupt you, Mr. Shahril? Yes, if you have any point. Okay, according to research uh, Dr. Diko, around 50% of the current, current world population has some sort of disability and also the number of interpersons increasing day by day. Furthermore, the research showed that by years 2020, more than 1,000 million people over 60 years age will be living on this planet. Keeping this in mind and looking into the capability of smartphone, it is apparent that in such a situation, Smartphone will play an important role in the integration process of people with special needs and elder age. Smartphone are capable to give the group of people the opportunity to live more independently. The more they can do by themselves, the better they will feel and enjoy their life. Smartphone features like text to speech and social website are some examples 
which can help this group of people to easily remain integrated with society using this service <coughs> and many more features the target group of people can easily communicate their needs seek assistance from others and remain connected to society technology is a great change technology is a great change every day this is important to meet the demand of women who look forward to make things much advanced to make their lifestyle simple and and updated. Smartphone is the change in human psychology which some may argue can be equated to a certain degree of micro innovation. Smartphone features like the camera, video capture, access to social website, and nature of always connected to connected to the internet enable individuals to capture any video at any time share it with friends and family using social website and other internet based options. Thank you Mr. Shahrul. Yeah. Would anyone would like to conclude um, our discussion, our dis uh, on our discussion for this forum today? Me, in conclusion, I really insist on my stand where smartphone give negative impact on students and society. With relying on smartphone, student and society will tend to have psychological and health problems, and there is no exception for children too. I hope all parties, regardless of any age, can understand my point of view. Okay, thank you, Dr. Afika. In a nutshell, I believe that there, is a, there are lots of positive impacts of smartphone. However, there are also negative impacts of smartphone. We need to balance the use of smartphone. I think we will end our forum for today. Um, thank you for lending in here. Thank you to my panelists for joining our discussion forum today. Uh, we'll see you next time.